Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnel. I am back to bring you an update on my room or studio and um, I will show you what I've done so far and just quickly go through all the uh, storage and where I've put stuff. don't know if that is something that would be interesting but I thought just to give you a better idea of what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend. I got that lovely Easter basket from my friend Cheryl. Thank you Cheryl. Um, maybe I'll start with this. I got this vintage hanger from my friend Dagmar who I've um, talked and shared our channel before and I'm just hanging my snippet rolls on there and then in here I think those snippet rolls were actually I think that one Dagmar made and these two Camille made I think if I remember correctly and then in these this cabinet I just have all my um magazines and things that I would use for Marguerite Miller mostly because it's easy to grab if I have it all together and then sorry if it's a little uh, in here I have my journals and some signatures that I still want to bind I just thought it looked a little bit you know it's not a neat display because they're all different sizes and um, I just wanted to kind of hide that um, so let's go over on this side it's going to be difficult to record because there's a lot of not a lot of room to move around the table but on this side I have these two bins they still need to be sorted they have all the like sewing ephemera in there and then some cigar boxes which are empty i was looking for a rolodex and i couldn't find one immediately so i found this little box i think i'm going to use in the meantime and decorate some rolodex cards and then in here I have some index cards, some vintage money and coupons and tickets, more um, sewing ephemera that should actually go in that bin. And in here I have um, bingo cards and what were these while well, you were, oh petty cash booklets so yes these are if they don't have a label on it is still needs to be sorted and organized and then I just have some books down here and what do I have in here uh, stamps that I found at the thrift store and some doilies from crochet tablecloth that one could get a label on and then just some extra inks uh, inks glues like glue sticks and glues for my glue gun and then just behind this is this closet and I don't have a lot in here yet because I still have things to sort and organize um, on the top I have containers with my small pieces of fabric in. They, some of them have labels already. Uh, I did do a video sorting that so I could, I'll show you that on a later stage. You saw the video on me organizing my card. This card usually sits next to my desk where I record but when I'm not recording I just put it in the closet to make it look a little neater. And clear things up this is how I sort my scraps and I did a video on that too so I'm not gonna go into that and then the rest I still need to um, unpack two or three boxes no probably more <laughs> in the hallway sorry that must make a big noise and then on here I simply have vintage books and because I have limited space 
I kind of organize them by size rather than like the cookbooks together or st stuff like that like I did in my in my own my other craft room at my house I had them like all my Christmas books together all my cookbooks together all my flower books I had them organized like that but I had way more space so this is just so I can get everything on the bookshelves that I have here and then on top I just have some tins some things to make it look a little pretty I do not have anything in the tins I used to do that but I find that I forget about the stuff in the tins because I can't see them and that's why I like these see-through clear um, containers this one has small little books in them that one can get a label as well these are just the dividers I've used to organize my containers and there is a video on that as well um, I'll make a playlist with all the organization stuff in so on the playlist so like these two they do not have labels yet and they're not sorted as you can see they're a mess uh, same with this it has some smaller books in it I think I've kind of semi labeled them but and this one has stamps in them and this one as you can see still needs to be organized and sorted and books again with some cigar boxes these I probably will put things in if I need space and even the tins if I do need space and then I showed you how I organize my um, smaller ephemera with a divider sheets in between it also just makes it look a little neater from the front these little cards I have the photos vintage photos cabinet cards they're all the same organized the same and then up here again I just have some nice brushes for watercolor painting and I left them separate from my other brushes so I won't spoil them with glue and stuff just a couple of things that I found at thrift stores and uh, you know just things that's pretty old books and just again that's just the up, up um, upper level of the bookshelves and then down here I have these little containers filled with like threads these are those alphabet numbers some clips covered buttons safety pins and more and then on the back here I have some milk um, jar lids I can't remember milk caps there vintage ephemera in here and this still needs the dividers in there because I haven't sorted the other ones on the top I haven't done that one yet and same with this one uh, this one is done my greeting cards antique book pages just all the little things um, in here I have pages that I can put add uh, in my books as signatures that I've already taken out of books but they are not going back into books if that makes sense and just more books uh, more books now oh, their space here is very limited sorry then um, I fit this area of the shelf I just have some flowers ribbons and more ribbons in the back there and just old things again that I vintage things that I found at the thrift store my two beautiful Christmas journals from my friend Cheryl and then on here I'll just maybe move back a little bit on that shelf there I kind of put all my ephemera that's either a work in progress or or are already finished so I have a to-do box here this is things that I pick up and I'm thinking oh I can should do this immediately um, not necessarily happens but <laughs> that's the idea then I did like tag bases 
uh, and then decorated tags just because I needed the tags in small containers so they're together. Then I have decorate, decorated envelopes in here and the rest I did like finished like decorated pockets that I can simply glue in. Then these are pockets that I've made but I still need to decorate them and I did the same up here the journaling cards and uh, they're decorated and these are still needs to be decorated same with this small pieces of ephemera that's done so it's like snippet rolls belly bands things like that and then the same with that then in the bottom here oh I did change it around and put the snippet rolls in here because I had so many so this one is in oh let me just see sorry in one of those split containers from Dollarama so in the front I just have snippet roll bases and then in the back I have the snippets that's already um, finished I'll just leave that one out some doilies so see these are all things that I'm still not sure I have more things that I have to unpack so I didn't do anything with them yet then I have paper bags here doilies and things that needs to be sorted same here still empty still need to be sorted and again because they don't have labels these still needs to be sorted I have an assortment of tapes in here because I'm always looking for tape it doesn't matter in what room I am I have that kind of in every room in my house then I have just a variety of envelopes in here vintage envelopes and first they issue envelopes and in this one I have some slides and some labels vintage labels and then up here just again the rest of that top shelf and in here this is how I store my um, like my dyed papers lined papers and so I have like coffee dyed papers and I use one of these cutting boards that I bought at Dollarama as well I think it's two in a pack and then I've just cut them smaller to fit in to my shelf it helps to keep my paper upright and then I just label it on here to know to see what is what and then same here still dyed papers and then on the bottom here I have cardstock colored cardstock lined papers vellum things like that and then in here is just old pickle jars filled with things that I will use and on the bottom shelf I have some tea cards and some washi tape and another thing for washi tape and the rest is empty and then I just have this beautiful basket that I also got from Dagmar filled with laces and fabrics and things that I just kind of want to use immediately or maybe cut smaller or still do something with I haven't decided yet and okay so let's go around to where I would sit and make still need to do something with this cord because the only plug-in is behind the shelves here so I probably need to tape it down or something in here I just have a little tray with things that I would small things that I would grab immediately while I'm doing journals like paper clips um, stamps extra clip these teeny tiny miniature clips I found the other day I think they're so cute just little things that I would think I would just use immediately and my bigger glue gun and the rest is still empty and then up here I have my cutter some twine I use a lot of these a little snack and just tags as well and then my glass mat I usually have up here because this is where I make the most mess um, 
crocodile scissors, just little things that I will use. And I have these in here. They're just small um, like dishes. Just, you know, put your little things in there while you're making a journal. I, I don't know. And some clips, you know, just the regular things that's on my cart as well. But because this, oops. This is um, counter height. The cart was just too low to put next to me here when I work here. The idea was to move the cart in between tables, but that will work better once I get back to my own craft room for sure. And then from here, I'll just do a quick, so this is from the other side of the room. And then let's go around. Oh, and I did decide to keep the curtains. Betty, I think it was you who said it might be a good idea to keep the curtains, to pull it shut, to protect your books and your vintage ephemera. Good point. And the other thing is also it gets very warm here. So I'm thinking in the summer I might be happy to just pull the curtain shut to keep the room a little cooler as well. Um, in here I have these trays are, whoops, okay, that needs to be fixed. These trays, see it's still a work in progress. <laughs> these trays are, um, maybe you can see it better from here, like makeup trays that I got from Winners or Home Sense. And so they have little spaces and I have some punches here that I've collected since I've move to this house because I did need some punches and that's in there and then I have this extra small cutter in there and then more punches and these I found at the thrift store in the past couple of months so keep your eyes open you don't have to buy everything brand new then we're going to move around the table and this also still needs some work this cabinet is still empty. I have my envelope punch board here, my stamp um, platform, I think they call it, and then also a scoring board. And this still needs, my husband has to still cut me some different shelves here. I'm going to put my embossing machine on here and then I don't know the rest. I'm pretty sure once I unpack all those boxes that I still have will be filled up. And then I have my embossing folders here and some fussy cuts because I still need to figure make fussy cut holders. We'll do that too at one point. And my embossing folders, I need to find a better way to store them. But for now, that's how I'm going to keep them. And then my sewing machine probably will make a cover for it to protect it against the dust and the sun. And just more sewing ephemera. And then this is how I store my uh, threads. I bought this if you live in Canada at Fabricland, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it at places like Joanne's. It has, um, let me see if I can do this with one hand. So it has two sides, it starts this side and that side. And I've sorted them by color. And then I have, like if I, this is a little bit messy still, but the idea is my, my thread will go in with my bobbin next to it. So I have both of them in one little compartment and then I'm not looking for bobbins. So I've been looking, I bought a bag of bobbins at the thrift store. And so as I'm going and sewing, I am threading my bobbins and adding them in there. I have them my color and then this one um, I have some metallic threads in and then on this side I also have things in like my uh, measuring tapes and my thing to thread some uh, elastic little things that I will need when sewing. 
that's this side of the table. Then we move around. Uh, this at the moment is my uh, garden story or the hashtag journal jigsaw journal that I'm working on. And I did show you this tray. I haven't painted it yet. Not a thing that needs to be done, but it's all I just moved it from a recording table to here because I was recording other things yesterday and I just love how it just keeps everything together and kind of sorted. And in here I still also need more shelving cut because I want to put my digital papers in these baskets and then sort them like because I'm on Rachel Bella's craft team design team as well as Duke's craft table want to put their papers in here as well as just if I have a lot of printed papers from one creator I'll do sort it that way and then on the bottom here I just have my laminator things that still needs to be sorted my Cricut machine I do have a multi-plug on the side there that I can plug it in that and my sewing machine just lift it on the table and plug it in and on the bottom here I have my Cricut mats and things that I want to cut with my Cricut and these are my laminating pouches um, and that's what I have on this side of the desk then if we move around to this area of the room I did make a video about my recording tables. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this. Um, I just have my laptop there to mirror when I'm recording the arm for my um, phone. Some lights. I love those lights from Staples. And then little containers again. They still need labeling. For things that I'll need and then this tray I finally filled it up with my clicker to start my phone um, eyelets tape paper clips ball pins safety pins some more punches washi tape my glue gun and now I have my extra glue gun um, sticks in there and I did, like I said, I did show you the things that I've done here. If you want to, um, you can go watch that video. I did start filling up these drawers with little things um, that I will need while mostly when I'm recording my container with little pieces of fabric that I can just grab when I'm making a video and I just want to make a quick tab or something and um, then my the rest of my inks the inks that I use the most sorry I'm just gonna go back I have here and this isn't ideal because I have to lift everything out if I want the bottom ink but it's gonna work for now the other thing is they can slip all over to the back so definitely not ideal but it works for now and then up here I just have my distress inks and the sprays and all the little things like um, little cameos brads and then my embossing powders and uh, inks and stuff on here and this I do not have most of them those three are still empty but I thought I'm gonna keep this for projects so like in this one it says Beatrix Potter and I have a journal that's on the go for I used Rachel Bella's um, Beatrix Potter kit for that so I'm busy with that one and I have everything in here that I'll use for that kit just busy with the cover still and again same thing here I started collecting things for a garden journal I picked a book already that I wanted to use and um, yeah so that's I'm, I'll fill with projects on the go 
and then up here I have my printer and inside I has an extra extension cord if I need it probably should find a different place for that and then my S extra inks for my printer and then I have the papers and I labeled them because they look all the same that I use mostly for printing are these and then I have vellum and cardstock and then uh, you know 110 and 120 pound cardstock and then in the drawers I have things that's newspaper print, printable transparencies, gloss and matte photo printer, paper and labels, and in here just some extra papers and the small photo papers in there that I use a lot of if I want to just print something small because it's 5x7 and 4x6 papers and that is about it this is how far I've come um, there is still work to be done but it is a workable space where I can sit down and do things that needs to be done and in between I try to I'm not saying I'm successful but every now and then I try to uh, just take an hour here and there to finish um, sorting quickly or putting up labels printing the labels and, and so forth so it's definitely a work in progress but like I say for now I can sit down and work I will um, keep you updated I have more videos that I've done that you can keep your eye open um, sorting my fabrics and how I store them I um, did uh, got a little cart for my slow stitch projects that I can keep in my uh, TV room because the one that I had the setup I had was very messy <laughs> just gotten to the point where it was uh, not in under control anymore so I needed a solution for that I have a video on that and yeah so there's still a couple of things coming and as I find new ways to store things I will share that with you guys and if you want to go look at the playlist for organizing if you go to my homepage of the channel there if you there's a bar a horizontal bar and I think it says like your videos community and then somewhere in there are your playlists if you want to watch all of them from the beginning and I have them sorted the oldest one on the bottom and the newest the latest one on top so yeah just go through that anyway thank you for watching I um, have to get back to maybe print a couple of labels now that I've seen that I have a couple of bins that can be labeled and I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you again soon bye